You ever had a day that started very well and you went, oh, we're having a good day. Got to work early with the boss. He had me my check because he has to pay me. Even when I show up for one day a week, doesn't matter because he's uh, doing that whole, what do you call it, payroll protection act and he has to write me a check and I'm like, okay, no problem. I'll take it, because I'm like, by the way, you're going to owe me a finder's fee, because he's been looking for a, a new laptop. Well, I don't know if he knew he needed one, but his was dead, uh, and he's got this Dell Precision 6300 about, oh, that thick. You know, it's a business laptop, and there's nothing wrong with it. Except for the fact it doesn't see the the battery died years ago. And buying a battery is a waste of money on a 2006 or 7 laptop with one of them twisted demonic panels. So, I found one for him. And we looked at it and I said, Ed, he goes, it's so thin though. My, and 15.6, and I'm like, trust me, you're going to have an IPS display. You're just going to sit back and look. So I get that, and then off to the uh, local food store we go, and I'll tell you the details after this. So we left work, I went over to the local food store so I could put money, I could cash my payroll check, and then immediately give them about half of it back uh, um, on the, uh, you know, to load up my, uh, I always call it my Amazon card, but that's, that's where I use it, and it's, uh, We're done in a few seconds. I get out of there, and I got a pretty big balance in there now, over way over four hundred. And I'm like, hmm, okay, I get to go. Yeah, I couldn't wait to spend some of it. You know, stuff I need. So I'm thinking, hmm, we'll just head over to Amazon, have an afternoon of shopping, and it's all going to be small stuff. I mean, I looked at a few phones. I thought. Eh, maybe I can stockpile a phone. But right now, as far as I'm concerned, this phone is totally adequate as a daily driver for me. If battery life is ridiculous and all that. But I needed a, a phone stand. <sighs> and I was looking for one like Jay Williams has. And if you go to my site and look for him you'll see it and it's got one single piece in the middle to hold the phone you just stand perfectly good and you can turn the phone either way it doesn't matter every a phone stand i found had two of them damn holder uppers but, of course, one's covering up your speaker, and the other one's covering up your microphone and headphone jack. They assume you need to char charge your phone. I don't. My phone gets incredibly good battery life. This, uh, um, um, yeah, um, digi, uh, Power 5150 is probably going to be my daily driver for quite a while. This is the perfect budget phone for most people. If you can't get through a whole day on this phone, oh, you might be an idiot. You know, I'm right now down to 86%, and it says I got 26 hours. <coughs> 
battery. Now this will suck up about 10% because I got the brightness wide open and we're recording the video. But still, I'll throw it up in the wireless charging stand and I'll go to bed and when I wake up in the morning, guess what? Mm -hmm. It'll be fully charged, 100%. Five volts, one amp. Can't beat it. Um, so I look and I look. I can't find the one like he has. So I got to, if anyone knows where you can find, I don't care if I got to buy it from Best Buy or uh, Walmart. I never delivered. And I don't care if it's made out of aluminum or plastic. I just need a stand that kind of sits up a little higher than, you know, I got a phone stand that I can set the phone in and watch videos, especially in, what do you call it, landscape mode, which is uh, how I watch them. And uh, it's fine. But, you know, it's sitting down on the desk, so it's not very adequate to show people a phone. Um, I'm probably not going to show any phones off. So I looked everywhere there. Score, zero, nothing. And so I move on and I said, well, I still need a clip-on, uh, one that you can clip to your desk. I don't need a tripod, a uh, fill light. So I don't have to use the fill light right up here that I'm staring into right now. But it works perfectly adequate for shooting videos. But seriously, what if you just wanted to sit back, shoot a video, and not have a, you know, that fill light? I, I'd buy two of them. Nothing on Amazon but ones that sit on stands. <sighs> No. Clip to desk desk. And I got all kinds of other ones that'll clip to your phone. I was like, I don't need a selfie stick ring light so I can get better photos of me. I don't take photos of me except right now while we're talking. Abject failure there. I'm now batting. Out of two tries, my batting average is zero percent. I, if I was a baseball player, they'd have fired me. They went, "You got to go, buddy." And so uh, I've kind of settled on the fact that the budget is high enough right now, but I'd rather not blow it all enough. A mini PC, but I have a Zotac with, I believe, a 3127 quad core seller on. And it's totally adequate as a, a PC. I mean, you, you turn it on, and I got a 23 inch monitor that I bought a couple years back, a Scepter, and I'm thinking, damn, I am all set. I just need a new Zotac. Well, they got one out there. It's a Core i5. And I'm like, cool. I can live with a Core i5. It's like 348 bucks, bare bones. There's nothing in it. You unscrew the bottom screws, and you lift it up, and there's like one ribbon cable you have to gently remove. And now everything's there. And you can, and I could take the SSD out of here, put it in the new Zotac, and I'd have to buy some new RAM. So, and then I could sell this one off and I'd sell it for, I think I paid like 210 for it, and I've had the SSD forever. The SSD isn't very fast, but you wouldn't know it. If you, you know, you're doing, you're watching videos on YouTube, um, I only have the screen brightness set to 75% in Windows, and I got a ton of room left on it right now because I put a 512 SSD in. It's just a standard to silicon power, and I think I, I get like somewhere between four and 500 
on the uh, reeds and about 480 on the rights. And that's in all the categories if you do a crystal disc mark, benchmark on it. So I was like, I can upgrade this. It's $348. Do I really want to spend my entire budget on one thing? Because I couldn't find a smartphone worth of crap. Uh, we're going to be sticking to this one for, I don't know, it could be two, three weeks. And uh, hopefully somebody will buy the Huawei. And I got to admit, I do still love the Galaxy, but it won't let me format the card as internal. I don't want portable storage. That is cool that you offer it, but you should also offer format as internal shared storage. Samsung doesn't do it, and it's all about marketing, of course. And they have a skin, and so does the Huawei. Otherwise, I'd have kept that one. Because the cameras were pretty good. The cameras on the A51 are absolutely stellar. And so, you can't go wrong with it. It's just annoying. And I find it reprehensible. And, you know, it comes with 128 gig of storage. And you're probably looking at me and going, well, I don't know if it's enough if you shoot videos like I do and always forget to delete the old stuff. This way, like, on the current phone, I think I have uh, 226 gigabytes free on the SD card and then the uh, internal memory. There's whatever was used by the operating system and things like that. Things you can't move. And the great thing is, when you format as internal storage, it will immediately ask you. You want to move all your apps over? And you say, hell yeah. And we'll go, well, this could take a while, but it takes like a minute. And for some reason, oh, I forgot to turn on Do Not Disturb, what's new? And that's all I got. I mean, my batting average tonight was zero. Can't find a, a, another budget phone to compete with this one. And can't use the, the A51 would have the SIM card in it all the time. Had they just allowed me to format as internal, or I might have kept the Huawei. The camera uh, setups are fairly similar, and the Huawei uh, P30 Lite actually has a glass back, and the Samsung has plastic, and, but it's got a rinky case. It's good to go, and I'm just tired of it's like, okay, you sit over there and when I absolutely need a phone, like I did yesterday for the video, so you notice all of a sudden the picture got super clear. I mentioned it. I said, we're using the LT51. The cameras on that thing are just absolutely, for the price, stellar. I can't say enough about it. Phone if you don't care about it. No. Well, 120 is plenty for me. And I think I picked it up for like 270 plus tax and shipping from a wireless place. If it's your first purchase, there's always a discount code in the description below. So, we'll see you in the next one tomorrow. Tonight, I guess I'm going to finish off my Amazon Prime uh, last season of Magnum P.I. It's not like I don't have a, I mean, they keep suggesting, oh, you might want to try this movie. And it's like, yeah. I'm thinking I might just sit back and watch The Great Escape again. I love that movie. 
one of the greatest movies ever made. I mean, to, to assemble a cast of famous actors like they did back then, James Coburn, um, Steve McQueen, James Garner, and Donald Pleasance, and all in one movie. He, nowadays would cost you 50 million on the payroll, and that's before you ever get started shooting. You know, it'd be like scheduling you know, a movie with Tom Cruise and whoever else is famous, um, or John Wayne. Uh, I might actually watch an old John Wayne movie. I, there's tons of them on Prime. Like I said, if you ever buy one of the things I suggested, my links below, it wouldn't hurt to uh, click on Prime if you're not a member and join. You can get a 30 day free membership. And uh, if you like it, you keep it. And then I get a kickback on your joining. It's not much. Not like on a phone, like a or no on the Zotac or no the laptop that I found from my boss $5.99 and what tax is going to be like I don't know $6.44 I get 4% back that's why I always want you to use my links if you already have Prime please use my links makes me a little money so I can find stuff to buy that's really cool. Um, so that's all I have for tonight. Give us a big thumbs up and please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one tomorrow.